New chair! <laughs> it's actually surprisingly not super heavy. Um. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! Half scissor knives. Um. I don't know how they go back together. These are our kitchen scissors. Just gonna set that down. Uh, beats back lifting it. <laughs> yeah, a new box for Tiz to hide in. <laughs> uh, you know we have to hide in a, in a box every time. I don't know how this opens. To be completely honest, I think. Yeah. Might be this way. It has a sticker that says open here, this side up. I'm smart. <laughs> uh, breaks back lifting. <laughs> I know, right? Alien, after I've been complaining about how much my back hurts lately. <laughs> Rip and tear, dual wielding scissors. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm so excited. And come to find out that we're never meant to come apart. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to see if I can hold it up so you can see. But I actually really like... <laughs> so it says... Has a whole like, hooray! It says your active workspace just got a major upgrade. Because if you guys don't know anything about me, I love things that are good for your body and to keep movement and activity. Uh, your back hurts. Stop lifting. <laughs> Shh. I'm not very good at this whole chill thing, bad wolf. Not to do just that buff and casually lift the chair. Okay, it has my how to assemble. No, oh, they even wrote like a, we hope you enjoy it. These are all the different crazy ways you can sit on it, apparently. <laughs> Had to hide my face. Come on, focus, camera. All the crazy ways that you can sit on the fun chair. It says the cross-legged chair has been searching for you, or that you have been searching for. No, the chair has been looking for me. <laughs> It was designed to address one of the primary sources of lost productivity at work, chronic lower back pain and neck pain. Uh, created in collaboration with engineers, physical therapists, and artists, the soul seat is as beautiful as it is functional. Um, so yeah. Great timing, considering my back has been so thrilled. Okay. Oops, I pulled, I think I'm supposed to take it. I think I'm supposed to all take it out together, but... Come on. I'm good. Thanks. This is the base. Can you guys even hear me when I'm not right by the mic? Uh, can we get a prediction for going for how many streams till Tiz falls off her new chair? <laughs> Shh. And then. These are chair feetsies. Guys, I'm going to cause a disaster. Aha. Okay. Uh, pretty color feetsies. I know, right? They're like blue and I think. I don't know how this attaches. I can put the feet on over here first. Uh, mom's coming out of her. No. Eric, no faith in me. 
And Moony means bubbles. Bubble her when you least expect it. Or get partner to pie her and she will fall off of it. No. Come on, guys. Don't don't wish for me to fall, huh? I'm really hoping, like, honestly, I think this is going to help my posture a ton. <laughs> I don't think I can push hard enough when I'm standing. Oh, they peel. Oh, cool. So they are silver. I was going to say, the blue doesn't feel like it would match super well. But it peels off. I'm going to set them all on here gently and then push them down when I actually place it on the leg. <laughs> no, I'll go get the pie now. No, thank you. I have faith of a sort. You have faith that I'm going to fall off and hurt myself? Thank you. I appreciate you. Well, I never. <laughs> Come on, thumb strength. <laughs> This is not the way you're supposed to assemble it. But you guys have to watch. Observe. Uh, we're not wishing for your bad luck. We just know it's gonna happen. Guys. Both probably good. The streams are are long, so comfy chairs necessary. Yeah. Not if you fall off it, it won't. Uh, classy. Abe, how's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, we have faith that we know you well enough to know how I don't think so. You guys underestimate. I have wonderful balance. I have wonderful balance of core, core skills. Just because I can't not fall off a treadmill. That's different. Completely different. Okay. I'm going to attach this so I can actually push on the leg. Deep hold. dropped a foot in here. This is the part that I'm most excited for. This is the like extra seat part. So they have the, the part where you can like sit with your legs cross-legged and stuff. And this part makes it so that like your, your hips are raised above your knees, which is much better for your back. Look at this color too. This is the Merlot. Um, and I got it this color because it kind of matches. I'll have to show you guys a picture when I put it all together. But it, like, matches colors that are in my play mat almost perfectly. So I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, we're doing new chair things, classy. Okay, I'm going to move this box. Ooh. I'm going to live over here. Okay. Um, looks like a mountain. Uh, you talking about the color? All right, two feet on. Two feet. Okay. One foot. Right. Feet are on. Base. It actually goes up surprisingly high. I don't know if you guys can see the base of this part. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not heavy enough to make it go down if I'm just forging on it. Uh, but we can put it all the way up to the top. And then this one, I think it said something about make sure you put the perch. Okay. Um. It says to install the perch, remove the protective cardboard. And insert perch into the butterfly cushion with the seam facing the back of the seat. Seam the back. Um, engage the lever and press the cushion all the way down to the help the seat bottom of the gas cylinder inside. I think this is the bottom. Yeah, a little closer to the shape too. A Charleston two. Oh, because of the shape. <laughs> and so the top, I don't know if you guys can see. That's so cool. 
So, I don't know if you guys can see it. This. You can have it at any level you want. Um, this is the auto. So, they have two different versions that you can get, too. So, they have, like, a manual one where you can just set it how you want. And then you, like, clip attach it underneath. Or, I spent a little bit more to get the auto adjust. So, it has the little lever. There's a lever. And I think you can just pull it off. I don't want to pull it off because I just adjusted it. Um, but that it it falls off and it just has this gas cylinder that allows it to adjust on its own. Mm, I'm going to sit on it. I'm back in this a bit. It spins. Yes, it does. So you can. I'm scared. To... First time. This is actually so freaking comfortable. So it's, it's, oh, that actually felt so good. Do you guys just hear my back crack? It makes it so, I don't know if you guys, I want to see if I can put it somewhere where you guys can see all of it. Maybe if I back up this way. Maybe I can use my other camera. Anyway, it has, it has like a butterfly looking base. So for those of you who might've missed it, I'll just pick it up and show you guys since you can't really see it. So that the base of it, you can sit really easily cross-legged. And then this part is actually spinny. And the bottom is spinny too. And so you can sit on it however is comfortable, right? Like you can sit this part here with... This is really tall. <laughs> I'm going to have way too much fun with this. Ah, yay new chair yeah so you can sit cross-legged or not cross both ways so that right now i'm sitting knees but you can also sit cross-legged scary you can sit with your knees up like this or you can have it and having so part of the reason the chair is so good for you too is when you're sitting cross-legged, your knees should always be below your hips. <coughs> you know, I mentioned that, but that actually helps with keeping your back lifted and your posture. Um, so this way, you can sit cross-legged. I didn't realize it would be, like, and I know I can adjust the height, like I said, a little lower. But it's actually surprisingly high. I don't know if you guys can, you can't quite see from here. Here, I'm going to turn on my other little camera real quick. Terrible, terrible lighting quality. Um, so I can just take you on an adventure. So the chair has bad quality. <laughs> I had to stand on this little cushion down here because my feet don't touch the ground. But this, wah! <laughs> so you can sit like this or <laughs> double camera angle. Or you can sit this way really easily. And lift the chair up so you can like tuck your I'm trying to angle this the right way you can like tuck your feet underneath here so you can sit this way or that way um so this it's the difference between like so if you normally sit cross-legged looks like I have my pants are just poofy like this I don't have a giant just <laughs> um if you normally sit cross-legged if your hips are up here Notice how you round more through your lower back, like so right through here. If you're sitting with your legs, your knees down, it actually helps your spine be a lot more straight. So it, it helps with that posture. Um, you must these are the pain. worst camera angles Life is pain, ever. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of what that looks like. So yeah, so it actually, it really helps with body alignment. I also like how high up I can be. And I can adjust this one and the overall chair. The other thing that I'm really excited for is that if I'm sitting on here, my green screen, I don't, you won't see like my chair. It'll just be perfect. Does it count? If I was to fall, she drops the camera. No, it doesn't. You need more stuff on your desk. Shh, 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 shh. My desk is a mess right now, all right? Part of it was because I was unboxing 
but part of it is also like you guys redeem cards and stuff all the time so i keep the cards on the desk it's fine it's just messy um eric what if i have bad posture to begin well so that's the point so this this is made specifically to help with sitting in a way that's going to help your posture it's because like you can't it's kind of crazy how much you can't really sit with bad posture on here like you have to it forces your body into better alignment than if you were to sit like way back into a a chair that has like a, the the big the big kind of bucket seat like that's what my last chair was like it had like the big bucket seat and no lower lumbar support and so this way you're actually like without a back you're actually working on building up your core strength and your back muscles to stay lifted and then if you have a back a neck rest on your chair too you end up having neck problems a lot um or like i joke with my partner all the time he sits like a shrimp he always like leans forward like this but like you can't you can't do that on this chair otherwise you'd probably just fall off uh <laughs> and Evan, i like the tagline are you a creative sitter i mean look at this they have examples uh -uh, of all the 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 ways that you can sit right which like i don't know about you guys is there anybody else i guess one's in the chat if you're somebody that sits cross-legged or twos if you sit normal like normal feet on the floor i am one of those people that i cannot have my feet on the floor like i have to be either cross-legged or knees up to my chest or uh far right for me the whole far right side wait right oh like knees <laughs> and the dab <laughs> that doesn't count if i fall no it doesn't bad wolf um but yeah let's say don't it's not it's actually not that heavy though either bad wolf um and akari we we've been unboxing yes the shape is too the make closer to a charleston chew uh even color quarter it honestly my shirt is a little bit more maroony or a little bit more purple this is a little bit more maroon but it totally does <laughs> time to celebrate i was gonna say it's I w I'm going to take all the pictures. So I'm going to take a bunch of pictures of it. I'll take some videos and stuff, um, which I do. I know I saw a lot of people posting the link in chat because we do have the command, the chair command for it. Um, okay, this is actually, I, I thought I, was, I thought it would take some time to adjust to. And I was like, oh, we'll see. I don't know how much difference it'll make. I noticed the difference immediately. Like just the way it, it forces you to sit up taller. But it's actually super, super comfortable and it's swivelly my adhd is gonna have a freaking play day with this oh uh, ghost parrot no small <laughs> mask Shh. uh need a, ba a chair back to help no well so that's the thing mask actually having chair backs cause you to kind of rest into the chair a lot of the time um and can create a lot of bad postural habits so that's what most people think they're like oh well you need neck support or you need this and if the support is right sure it supports you but you're actually not really building strength either and so my thing is like i would always prefer to be building strength and make my body be able to because you we we, we want longevity in your body right like you want to be able to be strong for a really long time not have to rely on like sure you can have something stabilize you but isn't it better if you can stabilize yourself uh gazy it's amazing <laughs> let me be a shrimp and lay in my chair and sleep okay that's what your bed is for akari that's what the bed's for uh sloppy all right yep you have a yoga ball i think honestly that helps too although a yoga ball i do notice it's a lot easier to kind of like roll your pelvis too like that idea of tucking oh which that right now that is where my back really hurts like as soon as i start to tuck like this like I feel that pressure because I think I think it's something herniated. Um, but when I'm sitting up straight like this, it makes it so that my my back can't roll that direction. Um, and it actually helps a lot. Evan, I use a little cushion that I put my feet on too. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not the only one. But see, now I don't even have to put my feet on the floor. I don't even know if you can. Oh no, you can. I can reach. If you if you drop it all the way down to you could keep one foot on the floor. I have one up here uh michelle how's it going it's good to see you yes yay new chair <laughs> and normal's a stretch but closest to two okay okay are they dabbling in two of those examples <laughs> he he looks yes the the ones in the corner it looks like happy tis is happy yeah. 
The floor is gonna have a hated you? No. And Gilbert as a member of the chair force, I approve. Can we get a chair bed? Different different thing. That's what this is for, right? Uh, only thing I miss is a nice beanbag chair to read in. I actually have a giant beanbag. You can't see it through here. On the other side of here, I have a massive, we have a massive reading beanbag already too. And I have problems stabilizing everything else. Let something able to st stabilize me for once. I mean, to each their own, right? But uh, for me, I know, and it is, it is a little bit pricey as far as chairs goes. But for me, I would much rather spend, and I, and I debated for a long time, but I would rather spend more money on something that's going to help my body in the long term. They also do have a really cool policy. Like, they're a small business. So I always like, they just got their, like, I think their B Corp license recently. So super, super exciting. Um, and also it's one of those things that they're, I think they're all handmade products. They, they do, I think it's a 30 day. They do, they do have, they have a really good warranty kind of thing on it where like, if it doesn't work for your body and you need to send it back for whatever reason you can. Um, I don't know. And I like this, literally it came with a handwritten card that's like, Hey, I hope you enjoy your new chair. This is who packed it up. Um, I've working with negotiating stuff with the company has been awesome. Like they seem like they're just a really cool group of people that run it too. And they really care about their customers, which I think is really important. Um, so yeah, so we are, we are partnering with them. Um, they're called soul seats, uh, by Karia. And so there is a link if you do the, like, it's, I think either exclamation soul, soul seat or chair. It shows you the link, and if you use Tiz Fizzy, you get 10% off, which is, like, anywhere from, like, 100 to $200. I think it depends on what kind of chair, because you can completely customize it. Like, it's a little bit cheaper if you do a manual perch versus an auto one. I like the auto. It's so nice to be able to oop, quickly just <laughs> drop it, do whatever I need to do with it, right? Um, you, there's different materials. So this is the... It's a faux leather Merlot one, uh, but there's also like wool. You can get a bunch of different things. They have different, um, they, they talk about, it's a creative sitter and they're like where chairs meet art and stuff too, which you guys know me. I'm a fitness person and an art person. So they have like bamboo leg ones that look really cool too. These ones are like the metal legs, but yeah, I, I'm actually really, really happy with it already. I thought it might take some getting used to and it might like by the end of like an eight hour stream, who knows, maybe I'll be a little bit tired and need a little bit more. <laughs> and donuts, we haven't been playing Tilted Tiz as much lately. Um, yeah, maybe I'll need a little bit of like rest time for my back, but it, this actually feels better than it has been sitting in that chair. And you guys know me, I've been complaining about back problems all week long, so uh yeah and here i just finished eating and i'm tempted to go lay in bed and watch the stream and hopes my cat joins me do it why not why not all right i think we're gonna jump back to Baldur's gate things but i love it so we got a new chair it's so exciting 